Allah, Allah, you are my Lord. I bow to you, Allah. Syria's civil war has been raging since early 2011, destroying the freedom and liberties of innocent civilians caught in the conflict. Families are being torn apart, homes destroyed, communities separated, and strife all over the land. Almost 7 million Syrians are in need of humanitarian assistance, out of which 4 million require food and nutritional aid. 3 million children have been affected by the conflict and are in need of immediate support and aid, whether it be nutrition, shelter, medical aid or psychological support. Over 2 million refugees have migrated to neighbouring countries for safety. Over 4 million refugees are scattered within Syria, considered internally displaced persons, are without homes, without shelter, without stability. Al Khair Foundation has been working on the ground in Syria to provide shelter, food, clothing, medicine and other necessities to refugees in Syria. We're also initiating projects to sponsor and support orphans and widows. And we need to raise £1 million urgently to maintain our projects for the people of Syria. At the moment, we are initiating the setup of maternal health units in the Turkish-Syria border to help hundreds of refugees who may be in labor. We also provide newborn baby kits to at least 500 mothers and pregnant women. We aim to provide 1,000 wheelchairs to the disabled victims and the elderly who currently reside in shelter camps between Iraq and Turkey's borders with Syria. We will provide 1,000 sewing machines to the refugees and the vulnerable who are in host communities near the borders so that they may build some form of livelihood in their camps. Children are the most vulnerable in the crisis. Over 50% of refugees are under the age of 18. Al Khair is developing an orphan and vulnerable child sponsorship program for the victims of this civil war. And initially we aim to provide sponsorship for at least 500 suffering orphans in this conflict. In the third quarter of 2013, Al Khair's aid delivery team along with an Ikra TV media team went out to Syria to witness firsthand the distribution of aid and to evaluate what more could be done to alleviate the suffering of the people caught in the crossfire of this civil war. On their first day in Syria, they visited a hospital where doctors were treating victims of the war, many of whom were skilled laborers, now disabled and in shock. Some had lost family members and loved ones while trying to flee their homes. There were children through every corridor. They were suffering psychologically as their family members were suffering physical injuries. The effects of such trauma on young children can be devastating as they grow older. The team's next visit was to a bread factory in the Turkish side of the Turkish-Syrian border. Al Khair Foundation in collaboration with IHH Turkey is supporting the production of bread. More than 150,000 pieces are made daily. These packs are then distributed through the conflict-ridden regions of Syria. Bab al Hawa, Gate of the Winds, is an international border crossing between Syria and Turkey. Al Khair is utilizing a warehouse here in which all the packaging of food packs, hygiene packs and baby packs is done. Each food pack contains enough nourishment to sustain a family for two weeks. Hygiene packs contain the essential sanitary necessities to tackle the lack of access to such resources. Baby packs contain basic materials required for the looking after of a young child. Three quarters of Syria's suffering population comprises of women, children and elderly persons who are the most in need of our support and aid. Al Khair is working its hardest to make sure every donation counts towards the improvement of life for the people of Syria. Aid has to be loaded into ambulances and medical vans to avoid trouble and to avoid being targeted in an airstrike. Al Khair aid distribution teams went out to deliver the prepared packs to families who were most in need in the war-torn region. Our primary aim was to provide for those women who had been widowed in the civil war and children who had unfortunately been left orphaned as a result of this war. On the second day, they visited a refugee camp for internally displaced persons. The conditions of living here were minimal, with the inhabitants having no consistent source of aid. Clean and safe drinking water is scarce, delivered whenever possible by national aid delivery services. They share what is provided to them, with the entire camp the best as they can. Another family interviewed, the father described the conditions they were living in, particularly difficult for them as they have three disabled children, and a young baby for whom there is no baby milk or formula. So they resort to feeding him black tea and have no access to nappies or sanitary supplies, forcing them to use plastic bags and scrap material as nappies for their baby. On the team's third and final day in the region, they visited another refugee camp, innocent children walking barefoot around the camp in temperatures of 40 degrees Celsius. Without enough food, fresh and clean water and sanitation, they wander around, 
keeping themselves occupied by playing games, running around, sitting and talking. We could never even imagine the mental trauma and suffering these children were going through due to their circumstances. The majority of families have nothing left of their previous possessions, leaving them with no utensils, no means of preparing or cooking food. Lunch consists of a mixed salad of whatever fruits and vegetables are available to them, and bread dipped in water to fill their stomachs. Some of the camp residents shared their stories and the incidents they have witnessed in the chaos with the Ikra TV media team. One young man explained how his previous place of residence was destroyed in the air attack bombs and how his family's home and the homes of many of his neighbours were reduced to rubble right before his eyes. They were extremely difficult conditions to live within. Only a minority of the populace had tents, the rest were using sheets and makeshift shelters tied to trees. Support the people of Syria, the suffering, the vulnerable, the sick and the elderly, most of all, the children. The people of Syria need our aid and support. Your donations are providing people the necessary tools and resources to continue their lives with dignity and hope. The children scattered all over the camps deserve that hope. They deserve a future, the right to be fed and to have access to clean and safe water, the right to an education and an opportunity to prosper and grow into able-bodied adults, the chance to live their lives. Donate towards Al Khair Foundation's Syria projects so that we may keep their hearts beating with life and with hope. Rescue a refugee for just £10. A family food pack costs just £50. A family shelter pack costs £500. Sponsoring an orphan is only £360. A newborn baby kit is just £150. A water tank is £250. A water truck is £100. And a toilet with a fully functioning sanitation system costs only £500. Donate now online at www.alkhair.org or call our donation hotline on 0207 084-7199